Stand right. Walk forward. Huh? There. I'm not. OK, look, set. lean up against the car. Lean up against the car. You're leaning forward. Lean up against the car. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do when Sherry John Brown come for you. So we ended up getting dispatched to help out a, another unit that was out on a DUI. Uh, they initially had a male that was uh, drinking and driving. Uh, by the time that the officers got there, the male was out of the vehicle. When they went out with him and started talking with him, uh, another male ended up showing up in a separate car. Uh, he, he ended up walking up on the stop, and they could immediately tell that he was, he was also intoxicated. What, what, are, what are you taking your shirt off for? I was going to wipe his, and he's, like, his nose is running. But why are you taking off your shirt? It ended up that they were ex-boyfriends and that they had been out drinking. One of the males took the first car and, and being as drunk as he was, he ended up hitting the curb with the, with the front tire and he ended up calling the, the ex-boyfriend out again to save the day. Uh, so he ends up showing up, by, by, but by that time we had already gotten out there and, and started to, to investigate the DUI. So what happened? Um, he left. In, in, in by himself? Yes. In the, from the bar? Yes. Okay, and in what vehicle did he drive? The Subaru. Okay, and, and then where did you go from there? How did, did you leave the, where did you uh, have to walk No, home? I came here because he called me and said he had a flat tire. Okay, and you drove from the bar to here? Yes. Being that we saw him drive the vehicle, we had to start our investigation for DUI with him. So it's pretty common that when someone shows up to a stop to help out a friend, we end up usually taking that other person to jail. Sometimes, it, you know, people don't think about that, that they're doing something wrong when they come to help out a friend. I hate that it, you know, that it has to come to this, but unfortunately your ex-boyfriend is going to be going to jail tonight for driving under the influence. Well, it's this afternoon. I'm going to jail also, right? What's that? I'm going to jail also. No, not at this time, no. First mail we couldn't place in the vehicle and we couldn't get a hold of our original person that reported it. Uh, we had to let the first guy go and, and uh, we ended up getting you know, the whole story from him. And uh, supposedly they had uh, been together for 13 and a half years and he didn't want to be with him anymore. So Wayne showed up to the stop and we actually saw him driving the vehicle. So we had to place him in custody and Michael was really upset about that. He actually uh, had told us that he wanted to go to jail for, for Wayne. And he, you know, he, he said that he would take the bullet and he would go to jail because he was the one that was, you know, nice to him. And he was always doing everything he could to, to help Michael out. Unfortunately, he was also drinking and, and driving, so he ended up having to go to jail. You're being arrested for pandering. For pandering? Fancy word for pimping. Pussy 1935. Uh -oh. Are we getting, is that the cops? It might be the cops. Why don't you uh, go ahead and pull your pants up? Yeah, 